That was that was uh, brilliant. Thank you, Andrew. Wow, what a roller coaster through the artistic process, and and thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, I'll just make a couple of comments. Um, I I was particularly interested in Alan Stone's paintings, actually. Uh, the the uh, company going into administration and that's something that we face with uh, business archives quite a lot is that they, they can disappear if, if we're not watching and uh, also the letter headed paper as well as as art as a product of industries and industrial objects but um, yes what a fascinating insight into into contemporary practice so thank you for sharing we have time for a couple of questions we have five minutes and um, so I'll hand over to Emma yeah thank you um a uh, couple of questions. First one from Miriam McDonald. Andrew, you use photorealism a lot. Do you use any other styles? Um, I'm trying to sort of make the app and the backgrounds far more abstract and loose. Um, but at the moment, I think as a scientist, I sort of think very precisely and accurately, and it's difficult to get out of that discipline. And I think that comes through to the painting. And what's been interesting in this is I find at my current age, I'm still painting the style that I painted when I was 11 or 12. And that has surprised me, but it shouldn't surprise me. I paint better, but the, the sort of elements that I recognise from a child in the way I paint. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah that, that's, that's really interesting. Um, yeah, um, Sue Jane Taylor had said, interesting ang angle and approach, Andrew. Your scientific approach definitely comes through. Um, Hannah Williamson says the number of hours each work takes is very industrial art touch or do you always calculate how many hours it takes even if you're not painting or drawing an industrial subject? Um, I don't paint every day I should say that so that's why I've got the hours in as well so at the present time we've got so much time to absorb and I find it very helpful to do this type of work and I just do try and keep a record and I, I do sort of take a mobile phone picture at different stages and it's quite fun just to start with the original image and, and put them one after another. I, I, I thought about doing that for the talk but it was going to make the, the file size so big uh, but it's like, I like uh, David Attenborough would show an opening flower or something, it's, it has that sort of effect. Yeah. Um, there's another couple of questions in the question and answer section if you want to go and try and catch those, Andrew, but I think yes. we're up to time now. So yeah. thank you so much. That, that, that's fine. Thank you. Yeah, bye.